Welcome to Does Geek. This is the video I intended to do this week. We had Chris Ware, who is an amazing, amazing YouTuber out there on the Destination Linux podcast, which I am one of the hosts of. So go check that out. And we interview him this week. It's going to be a fantastic episode. So if you're not familiar with his YouTube channel, go out there and subscribe to it. But he mentioned on the show Neo Cities. And instantly I thought of GeoCities, which it is kind of like an open source relative of. Now, GeoCities, for those who don't remember, well, it pretty much looked like this. It was a community area, a community area of the web where you could build a website, mostly made of GIFs or GIFs. We're not going to get in the argument of which one it is in the comments below. People, don't you do it. GIFs or GIFs all over the place. Kind of poorly written HTML, but it was the social network of that time. You had communities that would be linked together and you would travel and see people's pages. I wish that would have taken off instead of stupid Facebook, uh, because while you were mostly creating kind of pretty plain sites, at the end of the day, you did learn some valuable coding lessons there. So in any case, NeoCities is around now. Like I mentioned, it's completely open source and free to use. You get a gigabyte of space and we'll, we'll look through the plans here and you have an option to pay if you want to get some more features. But essentially you can go around the community and you could see people's names are linked here or you could go to a web address directly if you wanted. And some people even allow tipping. You can see here that if I really like their site and what they've done, I can click send a tip, I can share, I can follow them. So creating that community like environment there. Now the whole idea behind this, and I love that they have a learn page here, is that you can basically learn basic HTML, create a very simple page and have a little bit of a social network out there. You could create a page for, you know, a business, you could create a page for whatever you want. Although for a business having a NeoCities URL may not be the best bet, but it could be a fantastic starting point for you. So now I'm gonna show you some of the interesting settings and information here about this tool like supporter info. You can look at the different plans here. You get for free a gigabyte of storage, 200 gigabytes of bandwidth, no advertising ever, global Anycast CDN, free site subdomain, site subdomain SSL. This is all free. One click backup, site tags, RSS feeds, follow your favorite site, site profile, NeoCity site editor, and the Klee tool there for just $5 a month, you get all of that plus web dev uploading. So you could put the folder on your computer, utilize your favorite IDE to create your website. Now the idea in general is to kind of keep things simple, use a little bit of JavaScript, maybe CSS, HTML, namely, uh, you, you're probably not going to want to put a storefront on here things, although I'm sure you could, uh, custom domain SSL certificates. That's right. Everything's HTTPS. How awesome is that? They set it up for you. No file upload type restrictions, hot linking support, cross origin core support, basic email support. And then they show you your savings per month on these various plans. If you were to get this much space in these features on AWS or Google cloud services there, what you would be paying. So honestly, a really, really amazing platform powered by supporters like you risk free and secure giving back neo cities is used by educators all over the world to teach thousands of students make a better web i love it i love everything about this tool it is so infectious so i started out there and was just you know i just had the regular neo cities free account and i start coding and writing a pretty crappy page and what i have now is pretty crappy too but what are you gonna do fight me all right so i started creating and i got lost like four hours later I'm sitting here developing a whole website and I'm just like, fine, I'm just gonna move everything over to NeoCities. So I paid for their $5 plan. And now if you go to Dusky Community, you can see my coding skills at work. Do not laugh too hard. All right, so uh, what you will see if you get the free account when you first sign up is an index and a couple other uh, simple pages that you can go in and just edit the text. And it even tells you in the instructions, like edit here, change title here. Like it's as simple as can be to get started. And I will show you here just an example of their editor. So we'll just do youtube.html here and click create. And now if I go into youtube.html and click edit, I get this pretty cool editor. It's not as advanced as some of the other editors out there, 
but it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. So you can see this is kind of the code here. This is the title. So if I want to change the title of the website, this is the first header. This is a paragraph and it kind of tells you, here's how you make a link. How, here's how you can make bold. And no matter how far along you are, every time you create a page, it creates this default for you. So if you forgot after index.html what it was, you could just go here. Every time you click view, you get that real time view of what the website would look like. And so you can just make your edits, click save, click view, and you're good to go. You can also change your theme here, which is pretty nice. So if you want a different theme for your editor, you can change that as well. So you can see my site. So if we go to Dosky community, look at this coding, watch this. This is going to blow you all away. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that an amazing menu? Look how it just kind of comes. I know you're all blown away and impressed. I'm probably getting calls from all the Fortune 500 companies begging me to come and write code for them right now. So I created this site. You can see we've got kind of the news, more clear, more concise information on the North Georgia meetup that I do, you know, latest channel news, self-registration, two of my latest videos up there, an ability to offer support if you want, along with some free options. I also came up with another idea. Instead of just giving me money, if you make a donation to any FOSS project of $20 or more, I will let you have access to the Telegram group, the private Telegram group that is just for patrons or Kofi supporters out there. So just tweet me your donation. You can just, you know, you don't have to show the amount if you don't want, because I trust you. But show me that you made a donation to a FOSS project. I will send you the Telegram link once you direct message me on Twitter. Uh, I will follow you. You follow me back. You'll get the DM and you'll be on there. So if you don't want to give me any money, but you want to give money to FOSS, that's as good as gold to me. And there you go. And then there's the brain dump here. So you can get access to my GitHub page just frequently ask questions like, what did you make this crap website in? So, you know, that, that. I also have put all of my code for this website up on GitHub. So if you want to see uh, this crap code up close, or you want to copy it for some terrible reason to make a website off of it, I have all of my code minus the photos uh, that were in a folder up there for you to utilize as you want. So you can go out there and use that as well. If you like anything that you see here uh, that I've done or you're learning as well. And I have the best tip and trick section ever. And as you can see, use Arch and install it the Archway for the best ever Linux experience. What better knowledge could I ever share than that with you? So that is a view of NeoCities. I absolutely love it. What I want to show you now is Sublime. Why is it not typing in there? Come on. All right, Sublime text. Here we go. So now I, because I have that web dev set up, I can go here and, well, it's already in my web mount. I just created a web mount folder, set up the web dev connection, and boom, I can now edit my site directly here. This is index.html and the IDE you want, like I talked about, and hit save. And after about 30 seconds to a minute, it will automatically show up on the site as published. So if you want to use your own, you can do that. Now I'm going to give you the steps to set up WebDAV because it wasn't easy and hopefully this helps you if you run into any issues. So the first thing you need to do is install DAVFS2. So go into your distro and install DAVF, DAVFS2. If you're in Arch, it's Pacman-S DAVFS2. If you are in Ubuntu or a derivative like that, it should be like sudo app get install dev fs2 something along those lines uh the next thing that we need to do is we need to make a directory web mount so make directory web mount and you can make that directory anywhere you want but just remember where it's at so if you want to make it maybe in your documents folder or something and then just do mkdir web mount you could also go through the GUI file manager, right click and create a new folder if you wanted to do that as well. The next section is very important. You're going to type in sudo nano slash etsy slash dav fs2. I'll have these in the link below slash dav fs2.conf. And what that is going to do is bring you into the configuration file. 
you're going to remove this hashtag here and you are going to change this use locks to a zero. What this does is if you have it set to default where it just has the hashtag there, what's going to happen is you could still open up your folder and all your files, but when you click save, it's gonna say you don't have permissions. Once you change this, you will have permissions and you will be able to edit out of that folder. But right now we have a folder, we've got the configuration set up. Now we need to mount that. And to do that, you're going to use this command here, which again, I'll have down in the comments, but you need to change yours to fit this. So what we have is sudo mount.davfs, that will change this the same no matter what. You're gonna keep this the same, the HTTPS NeoCities org web dev, do not change that. Then I have the home folder into web mount is where mine is going. That's where you will need to change the path to equal wherever you put your web mount directory that you created or folder that you created. Keep the dash O, the RW, then change your UID to your user ID to get into NeoCities. It will then ask you for a password. And once you have that set up, you can go into your folder and after a few seconds, you'll see it start filling up with all the files that you have you can only do this on the paid plan, uh, set up the web dev. So that's my video. That's NeoCities. I dig it. Go ahead, make fun of my HTML down below in the comments. You can read it and see it and laugh all you want. Or you could offer suggestions for things to change along with the code so I can cheat and do it quickly. That would help too. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. It's a good